What's up, my beautiful divine feminines, <clears throat> my nieces, and my nephews, divine masculine, if you up in here. Welcome back to the karmic circus where we expose all of these karmic kings as clowns. <clears throat> it's your girl, Scorpion Queen. But you can call me auntie, okay? Because I'm that auntie that's going to tell you the truth. Because the truth tells me. I'm that auntie that's going to tell you the truth, even if it hurts. Even if it makes you mad. Even if it scares you. I got to tell you the truth. So, what I need for you to do. Keep in mind that this reading is a timeless reading. For some of you, this could have happened in the past. For some of you, this could be currently happening. For some of you, this could be some energy coming towards you. It may or may not resonate with your energy. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. Now, Divine Feminine. I heard in my spirit hmm, that they're telling somebody all their business. They're telling somebody all y'all business. So I started pulling the cards. And I was like, who are they telling their business to, Holy Spirit? <clears throat> and the first card I pulled out was a dark high priestess. Now, let me explain something to you. This is the high priestess in reverse. Now, this reading can go different ways for those of you. that thumbs up. When I ask to, ask the Holy Spirit, who are they telling their business to? Even though this is a divine feminine energy, this is not you, divine feminine, who they telling y'all business to. They're telling their business to some feminine energy. She holds, now she's supposed to be a queen upright, but this is somebody who carries all the energies of the queens in reverse. So this is a low vibrational energy that they tell them their business to. This is a, a low vibrational energy that don't give a shit about nobody. This is a low vibrational energy that lies and manipulates and abuses her authority. This is someone who will sleep with this masculine. Because she's in the, all the queens in reverse. So if she's in the queen of wands reverse, she's a hoe. If she's in the queen of cups reverse, she's thoughtless and careless and she's not compassionate. If she's in the queen of swords reverse, she's a manipulative liar. And if she's in the pink queen of pentacles reverse, she's a money hungry hoe. Greedy, selfish. Okay. This is who the person who your masculine is getting, who they talking to about you, telling all their business to. And see, whoever this energy is, this is somebody, we're going to clarify these four cards. She's getting karma right now. Either her or your masculine is getting karma because somebody didn't play by the rules. Whoever this karmic energy is, she's in, in the, the emperor reverse. Okay, she could be an Aries energy. I see Scorpio energy out here. Libra energy. Yeah. And she don't want something to end. Okay. Now, it could be that she don't want something to end between her and this masculine if they got something going on. She could have tried to send 
an ending between you and this masculine and it didn't happen. This is someone who's unorganized. She's mixed up and confused. She's a dark feminine. Yes, yeah, she is. So, first, let's we gonna find out a little bit more about this karmic energy. Who this high priestess is in reverse. She's not a star. She's trying to keep this masculine from ghosting her. Yeah. But she wants to be a star. She wants to be a star. This came out in reverse and then it fell. Okay. Yeah, she wants to be a star. This is who this masculine was juggling you with, Divine Feminine. See, you're a Divine Feminine and she's a dark priestess. And he's telling her all of his business. Why is this masculine? See? King of Swords in reverse. Like I said, she's a, a liar. A manipulator. And she abuses her. She's abusing her authority. And this is somebody. See, this masculine... With the Six of Swords out here, he's trying to release her. He wants to change because he's getting karma. And he's not having sex with her no more. But she don't want this shit to end, okay? She don't want it to end. She may look at this masculine as a star, and he may be if he's a divine masculine. Look, yep, break up the tower. See, whoever she is, she wanted you and this masculine to be in all sorts of arguments and shit. She thought she was going to cause a breakup or she's trying to cause a breakup. And if her and his masculine was together, there's a breakup between her and him. Okay. Yeah, be careful what you wish for with the seven of cups in reverse. This masculine is overwhelmed with the, with the choices he made. What choices did he make when it comes to this karmic? What was the choice that he made when it comes to this karmic energy? And I'm asking everybody to hit that thumbs up. Yeah, whatever choice he made, he's stressed and he's overburdened, okay? He's burnt out, over-obligated to her. It's like he, whoever she is, she, uh, she got this masculine waiting on her, okay? She's lying to this masculine. This is somebody who could be promising this masculine that she gonna give him some pussy, Okay? But she's not. Or this could be a masculine telling this karmic that he gonna give her some dick. Take it where it resonates. Okay? But somebody is not playing by the rules. Clarify the, the Ten of Wands. Nine of Wands. Three of Wands. Somebody is most likely dealing with a fire sign out here. I see Aquarius energy out here. I see Scorpio out here. Gemini. So for some of you, if this is not a dark feminine, this is a feminine that's, that was dark and maybe she or or this could be another divine feminine that this masculine is, is in, you know, cohort, cohorts with, what's the word? In a relationship or something. But maybe she's not talking to him. So it could be different for everybody. Some of you, this person is a dark feminine. For some of you, if if he's been telling her all of her his business, she's been running around telling his business. And maybe, you know, he's not talking or they're not talking to each other. And if this is your masculine, if he's an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, you may not be talking to him, and this may be karma for him. Okay. You're not a hothead. You're not hot-tempered. You're not rebellious. But whoever this energy is that he's dealing with is rebellious, Divine Feminine. Yeah. So let's pull out the emotions deck. How is this masculine feeling towards this dark priestess? Holy Spirit. Shy. 
okay? So she could be, you know, whoever this energy is. She could be, you know, putting on the front like she's shy, like she's quiet and bashful. Tell me about this karmic energy. How does this masculine feel about this karmic? Or he feels that she's shy. He feels that she's bashful, but she's a dark feminine. Yeah. Mm. Now he's anxious. He's worried. He's concerned. He's tense. Give me one more for how this masculine. Or he may feel that, you know, she's tense around him. And he's being mean to her right now. Nasty, rude, and unfriendly. Yeah, and I feel like because that's that because she's dark. She's a she's she's holding all the energies of all the four queens in reverse. So she's not nurturing. She's selfish. She's she's not compassionate. She may have stopped being intimate with this masculine, but she's a, a queen of wands energy in reverse. She's a hoe. Okay. And she's she's money hungry. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. She's a gold digger. Trying to give somebody, give this masculine some sort of he's telling this person all of his fucking business. But why? Why is he telling this person? Why is this masculine telling this person all of this? See, he, he thinks she's shy. She may just not be saying nothing. Why does this masculine feel? See? Sneaky fox. And somebody cut something off. So, if he was dealing with this karmic energy, he possibly, with this 10 out here, he didn't, it's over with that. He didn't end it. And it's something that ain't no coming back. But see, we got to see where this fox is headed. He going somewhere. But he's looking back at this cutoff. Or this can be this karmic. This masculine may have cut her off. And she's being sneaky. Since this masculine and cut her off, she going somewhere. Or this could be your energy. If you cut this masculine off, let's see where this fox is going. Where is this fox going, Holy Spirit? Into a motherfucking storm. Yep. <laughs> Somebody been traveling. Yeah, somebody's traveling. They coming back from traveling. I'm asking everybody to hit that thumbs up button for me. Share this video. I'm trying to get to um, 20,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go on ahead and hit that subscribe button. This could be somebody this masculine he could have been married to or he could have proposed to her. He could have a child with her. He could have moved out the house because it's a lot of storm or he may have been planning to move in the house with somebody. There's a lot of arguments, discontent, delays and setbacks and shit. That's where he's headed. So if, if, if he left you, Divine Feminine, for this dark priestess, he's about to go into a storm. Or he done went into the storm and he coming back. Yeah. See, he went to this person. He thought he wanted you to be in despair. Or she did. They thought you was going to be homeless. If you was homeless, you're not homeless no more. If you lost your job, you're going to get another one even better. You ain't about to have no money problems. And this masculine, he went to this person possibly because you could have kicked him out, Divine Feminine. And he, he think whatever he was going through with you is a problem. When he get to there, that's where the problems come. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of arguments and fights. Mm, divine Feminine. Mm -hmm, the privileged lady, he may be going there because this person, she could be a Nine of Pentacles. She could be a Queen of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. This the the unexpected income in reverse and the wealthy man. This person, he could have, this could be his child's mama. She may have kicked him out when you met him, Divine Feminine. 
you could have met this masculine when 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 he was kicked out or going through some shit. And he could be telling you, well, yeah, my my woman, you know, me and her, we going through some shit. I moved out of town. And I, I I I went somewhere. I went out of town, and when I came back, some shit to that effect. He left the house. Either he moved out or he went somewhere and he came back. And and for some of you, I just I just heard Divine Feminine. If this is somebody he was dealing with in, a, in another city or another state, he he went, he tried to sneak off to her and he found out that she's dark. He found out she's a hoe. And he kept he coming back. And this may go with the same reading that I just put out just before this one. I'll put it at the end. This is a snake energy. This masculine could have been gossiping about you, divine feminine, or this karmic energy was gossiping about you. She can't gossip no more because you're the privileged lady. You're divine feminine. You're not in despair. You're not homeless. They wanted you to be. Yeah. And this is somebody who this masculine thinks that's shy and bashful. She's a motherfucking lie. She ain't shy at all. Okay. Yeah. Truth revealed about this karmic. And it's unloyal. The, the truth is that this masculine, he knows now that this karmic is not loyal to him. Okay. So, what is the truth and the clarity about this karmic that this masculine is finding out Holy Spirit? What is the truth and the clarity? Children. He could have children with her. Confirmation. Here's a here's a child and here's the children. So for some of you, this could be this masculine's ex that you know they say they still friends and she giving him bad advice. Masculine, if you getting advice from your ex, you need your ass whooped. Seriously. Why the fuck would you get advice from somebody you're not in a relationship with? The relationship between you and her didn't work. So why would you go and, and be telling her all your fucking business? That's stupid, masculine, nephew. Camera was on. Something about a camera. Or somebody being sneaky. Somebody, somebody, you know, somebody got caught on camera. Doing some sort of candle magic. And right now, this masculine is sick over you, divine feminine. Okay, he's sick. And when I picked up this deck right here, it said the same thing. He's sick. This karmic energy could be doing something to make him sick. He ain't smoking weed no more. Yeah. Finesse. Dripping in finesse. Okay. Tell me more of the truth and clarity about this karmic energy. She's watching. Finding every excuse to get away. So when this masculine was with you, he was he was always avoiding you. He was always, you know, making up excuses to get away. That's because he was dealing with this dark feminine. Chinese takeout. Somebody may like Chinese takeout. Somebody may not like Chinese takeout. Somebody then stopped smoking weed. A camera was on in a situation. Somebody may have been... Um, on camera doing some sort of ritual with candle magic. Somebody may have been on camera smoking weed and some eyes was watching. Cameras on. Yeah. Tell me more. And I'm asking everybody again to hit that thumbs up button. Open relationship, yeah. This is somebody, this masculine was in an open relationship, a dark feminine, and the truth has been revealed about her. Yeah. And this is why he's not having sex with her no more, because she was draining him sexually. That's why the lovers is in reverse. It's down here somewhere. The lovers is in reverse. So this masculine, his eyes is open, and he know this karmic energy was being sneaky. She's dark. 
and low vibration. So how does this masculine feel since the truth has been revealed about this karmic? How does the masculine feel since the truth has been, been revealed about this karmic? He happy that the truth that he done found out. He cheerful, joyful. He's pleased to find out that she's a fucking karmic. That she's low vibrational. That she's a hoe. Tell me more. How does this masculine feel? He's kind of, he's kind of melancholy. He's kind of miserable. He's miserable at the fact and unhappy, but he's happy at the same time. It's like, he's basically, he's saying he's glad he found out in time. That's what I heard. Maybe he is, he's not having sex with her. That's why he's smiling. He, he found out that she a hoe. It could have been an open relationship, and that's the wise reason she wanted, you know, why she in an open relationship with him. She's out there hoeing. And either somebody seen her hoeing, doing some shit. Mm-hmm. This masculine, he's not having sex with her because he knows that she's an energy vampire using sex. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get my advice cards and see what is the advice I can give you. When it comes to this masculine. I'm going to my Divine Abundance deck. And again, I'm asking everybody to hit that thumbs up button. Share this video on your social media. If you have multiple social media platforms, then share it on all of them. Share it with somebody in an email. Send it to somebody in a text. Share it in, in even the spam messages. You know, share it. Send it to multiple people at one time. Put it in a group. Okay? Share it. Share it. Share it. And make sure you hit the thumbs up button. And y'all make sure you hit the, the, uh, the, um, you're going to have to make a sacrifice when it comes to this master. Okay. Because if he's dealing with a, a dark feminine, you're going to have to sacrifice something. So let's find out what is it you got to sacrifice, divine feminine. Mm. Wow. Get out of prison. And then here's. Here's the prison right here. Both both of these cards is talking about jail. This card is talking about getting released from jail, getting out of an emotional prison or a spiritual prison or a literal prison. And this is where somebody is wanting you to be feeling helpless. This could be this dark energy. And she's doing this because if, if with the Knight of Swords, when I, I look at the Knight of Swords, the, the Knight of Swords... You know, when he's in reverse, he's somebody who's restless. They can't focus. They burnt out. And this is how this masculine has, this karmic has this masculine feeling. He can't focus. And he's sick right now over you, Divine Feminine. Okay. This is, here comes this same karmic. It's the same karmic that he was just juggling you with. The, the karmic with the twisted wig. Yeah. He's dealing with the karmic with the twisted wig. This is her again. Okay, she's the dark feminine. Yeah. That was draining his masculine sexual with the open relationship. Yeah, he can't move forward. Yeah, he's he's resist she's resisting the end from with him. Ten of swords in reverse. No love, no emotions. She's selfish. Yeah. This masculine is realizing that he can't he can't manifest money with her. Yeah, because she's dark. Yeah, and the secrets then came out. And he don't have all the answers. But he's going to find out for real soon. Yeah, because he's having bad luck now. Yeah, because she's a dark feminine. Again, that he was trying to be sneaky with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something may be significant to January 3rd. 
March 2nd, January 1st. Yeah, this is somebody who he reunited with and he's feeling like he shouldn't have. And now he's standing up to her. What is he standing up to her about? He's protecting himself. He's defending himself when it comes to her. Or he's defending you, Divine Feminine, or standing up for you. Yeah, he's standing up because if this is somebody he's been dealing with, this is somebody who makes a routine of trying to keep coming back to this mask. This is his child mama who he's, is a, who he's in an open relationship with. Who he think he who who he thinks she's shy, but she's sneaky as fuck. Yeah. Okay, so what is the advice for the divine feminine that's dealing with this energy? Holy Spirit, what is the advice for divine feminine that's dealing with this masculine? Wow. Trust in reverse. Don't trust this person. Don't trust them, Divine Feminine. You can't trust them. Okay. Why? Why can't Divine Feminine trust this person? Divine Abundance. You were born to align with love's will. Follow the t follow the tail and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundant and not chase it. Yeah, don't trust this person. Basically, they 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 want you to focus on being abundant, focus on being yourself, focus on being in a divine energy. Okay. Um Learn to to balance your chakras out. Just just you know, get on that spiritual journey and and learn, learn more. When it comes to this, get out in nature sometimes. Go to the beach, take a walk. Um, look at the birds, look at the butterflies. What's out in nature that you see? Do you see animals arguing, dogs barking? Birds making a lot of noise. Those are energies. Okay, that's around in human and animals. If you see a dog fighting, a dog growling, that's someone around that's angry. Okay? And I see this masculine, he's, you know, he's. it's like he didn't put up a shield of protection. And he's standing up either for you in the relationship or he's standing up for himself when it comes to this dark feminine. Yeah, but you still can't trust them, Divine Feminine. Can't trust them. I got to get my other deck. Okay, so let's see why we why you can't trust the divine feminine. True offering in reverse. Because this person, if they're offering you a relationship or whatever they're offering, it's not is is you can't trust them. Okay. You need to you need to cleanse your home, cleanse your space, take spiritual baths, um, tie your head up at night, get your amethyst to put under your pillow at night. Um, get some, some, um, Florida water, put some Florida water in your bath water, put Florida water in your mop bucket water, um, spray your counters with it, put the Florida water in your spray bottles where you're cleaning and stuff, clean your home, clean your energy, sweep out from in places where you, I had to do it my damn self. Okay. So sweep them floors and mop your floors because people come in your home. Even if it's a fucking utility man, you don't know what that utility man got attached. You don't know what your manager of your apartment got if you letting these people come in your house. You don't know what your family members got attached to them. So this is why you see a lot of stores 
Asian people, you know, when they when they are when the store closed, they're mopping their floors and they're burning their incense and they're praying and all of that because they know about these dark demonic energies. So you have to cleanse your energy. Okay. Tell me about this person. And again, I'm asking everybody to hit that thumbs up button. See progress out here? Yeah, don't trust this person so you can move forward. And, and with this eight of wands out here and clearing energetic energy, the Holy Spirit wants you to quickly do this. So if you haven't burned some sage or you haven't took a spiritual bath, you need to do this right now. Because whoever this energy is, that this masculine is dealing with. She's a dark feminine. Okay. Tell me more. Six of swords energy. Mm. A queen of wands. You could be the queen of wands. This is someone who's very... Um, loving she's she's uh compassionate no that's the queen of cups the queen of wands is a fiery and 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 she's passionate and she's you know um very sexual she loves sex she's a fiery aries leo or sagittarius um you don't have to be one of these signs but you can be in the energy of the queen of wands energy this could be you divine feminine confidence a social butterfly Put in the comments, I am divine feminine, I am loving, I am caring, I am sexy. Okay. Um, this is this is a woman who who's so beautiful and she she don't have to beg for attention. You automatically get attention because you're beautiful, you're loving, you're kind, you're carrying all the energies of the divine feminine. And apparently, right about now, I'm getting chills. The energy of some of you ladies out there, you 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 hot than a firecracker, okay? You're beautiful, okay? You're beautiful. Put it in the comments. I am beautiful. This is a, a, a social butterfly right here. You get, you be around people, and people are just automatically drawn to you because, for one, you dress good, you smell good, your hair done, your nails done, you're sexy, okay? You know how to use your intuition with the Ace of Pentacles out here. Love, spirituality, and awakening. Yeah, you may be just now awakening. Some of you didn't even know you was a divine feminine, but you're a divine feminine. You know what I mean? You're always loving, caring, and compassionate. You're always confident, sexy, and beautiful. Your money is always right, Queen of Pentacles. And you will cut a motherfucker's head off if you need to, Queen of Swords. So some of you is already in a divine feminine energy. As we speak right now, if you're in that divine feminine energy and you all of them four queens up right, up upright and not reverse, put it in the comments for auntie. Okay. You know how to use your intuition, put it in the comments. See, whoever this, this, it's a lot of fighting and arguments going on with these people. A lot of chaos, stress, competition, intimidation. Clarify this. And they're not protected. Yeah. They don't have no spiritual protection. Or if they did, they done lost it. Because this is a dark feminine. And if she was in the energy of being upright, she would be protected. Mm. Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this is, this is, that's that feminine. She's the liar and a manipulator. Somebody could be married. She could be married to this masculine. This could be this masculine's ex-wife. trying to do some sort of candle magic and it ain't working she was doing some sort of candle magic so this masculine dick won't get hard yep and now it ain't getting hard for her why is this karmic trying to this could be some your twin flame yep again he's standing so this masculine he stood up for herself it's out here twice he stood up for herself when it came to this karmic so she she started doing some candle magic but the candle magic ain't working yep she was trying to get it to where he, he can't get an erection. And that's why he ain't having sex. So divine masculine, if this is you and you you 
you feel like you can't you can't get an erection that's because whoever this funky ass woman is you telling her all your business she's she's doing some sort of candle magic on you so your dick won't get hard so i suggest you get a carnelian stone okay take your spiritual bath and divine feminine if this is your man and you with him and, and he ain't getting an erection and he's saying he don't know why that's because whoever you tell him whoever the fuck he been telling his business to whatever feminine energy and it's not for everybody but if it resonates and the shoe fits wear it god damn it this is this is whoever she is she's doing something to this masculine so masculine you need to for one start tying your head up at night too put a line of salt across your front door take you a spiritual bath and start burning you a white candle every day go stock up at the 99 cent stores and get a bunch of them white candles in the glass okay and burn them if you don't have you know you can take a spiritual bath and put a half a cup of salt in your bath water it can be regular table salt it can be sea salt it can be pink salt okay salt epsom salt and then as you're in the tub you burn that white candle if you want to burn you some palo santo or sage um you don't have to if you don't want to the sage will will um run will clear the energy and the palo santo it'll clear the energy too but it's gonna bring the the good energy so you look up the the healing properties the spiritual properties of burning sage and palo santo and if you feel that's for you you go on ahead and i'll put it in the, the uh the shopping thing okay so divine feminine if I gave you any clarification in your situation, make sure you subscribe to my channel, share this video with somebody else, and either email, text message, or in a group. Share it with somebody, okay? That helps my channel grow, and it helps my messages get out. I need my, my views to be up in the 3,000s, okay? And I need for you guys to help me to get to the 20,000 subscribers. So go ahead and help Auntie out, and I'll see you in the next reading. And if you're interested in the personal reading, the information to my inbox, to my email is pinkscorpionintuitive at gmail.com. And I do offer a one question, $5 read. You will get a full reading off of one question. So if you're interested in that, you inbox me and my cash app and my PayPal is what I accept. So I'll see you guys in the next reading and I wish you all joy and happiness and peace and abundance. See you next time. Peace out.